of us have a loved one who has or has had Alzheimer's disease, and many of you know I lost my grandmother in October to Alzheimer's, but did you know research going on right here in the metro could just save future generations from ever knowing the agony of Alzheimer's? Certainly had browner hair or <laughs> <laughs> facial hair. That's true. I would do anything for plant. I don't remember that. And after two decades of marriage, Faith yeah, Brown is facing her hardest feat yet. Wow. The man that I've known my whole life, there's no way he could be in a building and not know what floor he was on. That, you know, it just it makes me feel really like life's crumbling. She is literally watching that sharp-minded man she married slip away. I find myself watching a little bit more, and that's a, it's a very subtle thing. And it makes me anxious and stressed. Blam Brown says he can't keep up with conversations like he could since being diagnosed with Alzheimer's at just 53 years old. Now, just months later, he's enrolled in a clinical trial at the Lynn Institute in Oklahoma City for a medicine that could slow down, even reverse the progression of Alzheimer's. I'd be very satisfied to be at the level I'm at right now. Blank gets an IV every 13 weeks in the double blind study. So we are not even aware if the people that we're working with are receiving actual investigational drug. But they're very aware of the impact the study could make. You know, the caregiver is the one that goes through the most, my wife. Everybody runs together. Not only to the Browns, but to the world. When the medicine is out, I will be proud of myself that mm -hmm. I was part of this study and yeah, we did something. Something that could yeah. change the future for people like Faith, so in love with someone who will never be the same. We've got three very young kids to be thinking about Alzheimer's, you know, from 14, 18, and 22-year-old kids thinking about the potential for them to develop the disease is a whole nother facet of why we need research. And they are incredible people. Well, the trial lasts 18 months. If it is successful, the medicine could be on the market in five years. And the Lynn Institute is looking for volunteers for the clinical trial. If you're interested, go to OKCFox.com, click on daily links. And we're going to continue to follow the Browns through this process. So watch for their stories coming up in the coming weeks. All right. Very good. Thank you.